welcome to Drinky Review with the Murphs, episode three. Three. What do y'all think about that sweet ass intro? We're getting super cereal about this. Super cereal. So today we're doing a kind of like sweet and spicy episode. And it's not going to be like our normal like theme necessarily, but no, we're going to do some sweet. And then I did a thing, you guys. Yeah. I, um, what was it on Monday? Tuesday. Monday. Tuesday. Mm-hmm. One of those days early. Monday or Tuesday. I made some infusions, which I think is what they call them, if we're being fancy. Okay. So for round one, because we have four different beers we're going to try, and then of course the three infusions. <sighs> infusions that I got all crafty and shit with. So we're going to start with the sweet stuff and then we're going to fuck ourselves up later. Ruin our evening. Yeah. And probably the next couple days. So we're just going to go down the line of beer and try them one at a time, which I think like three of them are Shiner, one of them is Blue Moon. Because Texas is better. Yeah, and Shiner has like all the flavors of anything. Thank, the, you, thank you to the Spotsil Brewery. Yeah, I mean the only Shiner one I've ever tried, besides just regular Shiner, is the goddamn pumpkin one, and mm. that thing is disgusting. You're not you're not white girl enough for that. We I am not. That out. Pumpkin spice is awful. So we're gonna start off with Blue Moon Ice Coffee Blonde. But I don't really know what to expect here. I'm a fan of Blue Moon. I like Blue Moon. I'm a fan of coffee. We'll and I do, I, I will admit every once in a while, like, just a blue moon with, like, an orange slice. It's pretty tasty. It's gooder than shit. Okay, so it looks very beery. You see how beery it looks? It doesn't smell like coffee. It doesn't smell like coffee. It smells like beer, but... Here goes Nothing. Oh, wow. That's weird. It like hits your mouth like beer. And then as soon as you think you're about to get that beer taste, it's like fucking strong ass coffee I in was your ex- face. Hold I was expecting like, like when I think of iced coffee, I think of like sweet iced coffee, not just cold coffee. But I mean, it's like, it's like, it's not sweet. No, but it's a strong but ass it's coffee like, flavor. It smells like beer. And for the first Half a second. Like split second. You it get that, that, tastes like blue moon. The beer just comes all in around and your then mouth and then it turns it into coffee. It just splooges coffee all up in your taste buds. That's pretty good. I, uh, I like the shit out of that. I don't know how much of it I could drink. It tastes like magic. Yeah. Because there's no reason it should taste like beer at first and then, and then, then magically to turn to coffee. That's uh. That's strange i would i would recommend try that give that a shot because that's it's different if you like magic coffee splooge in your mouth yeah it's pretty good okay round two so now we're moving on to shiner s'more which y'all i gotta be completely honest i'm gonna divulge one of my fatty secrets that uh My mom got me this alien torch, like a lighter torch, just randomly, and it's freaking badass. Well, we got some stuff to do s'mores with the kids, and instead of using the torch to light a cigarette or a candle, my fat ass decided that I was going to make s'mores indoors. S'mores indoors? So for like a week straight... Every night, Murph would walk into the kitchen and I'd be in there with like a freaking marshmallow on a fork with my torch, like a goddamn like crackhead, just cooking s'mores and making s'mores. Oh, they were so good. Just going to town with a butane torch. So I saw the the s'mores beer and I was like, fuck yeah. So So, this is the Shiner S'more. And again, it just, it smells like beer. Chocolate and marshmallow ale. It's pretty dark. It looks even a little darker than your traditional Shinerbach. 
You can't, I mean, you can, there's a little sweetness in the smell, but not as much as you would assume for s'mores. No, it smells mostly like beer. You can taste some marshmallow. You can taste some chocolate. Now, I mean, nothing's real sweet about it. It's surprisingly smooth. It's also weird, like some kind of My black fatness is thoroughly disappointed. She was hoping for just fucking marshmallows floating in here. I Mel melted it. bars of chocolate. I, I'm just, my insides are sad. It's not bad. It's different. It's definitely not something you want to drink a lot of. But it's different. I'll give them that. I don't taste chocolate. It's like bitter chocolate. Then what's the point? Then why? Okay, Gordon Ramsay. Why? I'm not saying it's fucking raw. <laughs> I'm just saying like... There's hints of chocolate. If you're, no, if you're gonna label some bullshit s'mores, it better be sweet. It better taste somewhat like a s'more. That does not taste like a s'more. She's, that that tastes like someone shit out a s'more. She's literally heartbroken about this. She had visions of buying cases and cases of Shiner s'mores and getting while super fat, sitting in the sitting in the with kitchen. my torch, cooking marshmallows like a crackhead, drinking. Freaking s'mores, liquid s'mores, and that tastes nothing like a s'more. <clears throat> Fuck you, Shatterbox. Okay, so for round three, we have Shatterbox cherry limeade. Shiner cherry. It's not Shatterbox. Shiner, what the fuck ever? Shatterbox is a type of beer. I thought it was all called Shatterbox. No, it's all from the Shiner Brewery. Well, you know what? Spotsil Brewery in Shiner, Texas. I'm mad at them right now, so I really don't fucking care what it's called. Shinerbach. Cherry Limeade. Beer. It's a pissed off. Oh, is it? Okay. So, we're going to see. It's not Cherry Limeade colored. It's, once again, beer colored. Yeah. You know what, this one tastes more like, or smells more like cherry limeade than it does beer. Smell it. Smell it. Yeah, you can get a little bit of the limey, like the cherry-y smell. Yeah. We'll see what it tastes like. Oh, that's fucking good. It's... It's beer. It tastes like beer. It's real strong on the lime, not so much strong on the cherry. It should have more cherry in it. Like it just—it uh, tastes like lime beer. Yeah, but not quite as limey as other lime beer. Well, There's a hint of cherry. I think it's pretty good. I enjoy it. It confuses my mouth. Yeah. I don't... Hmm. That's not bad. Okay, so for round four... The last beer. The last of our sweet stuff, which our sweet stuff hasn't been that sweet, and so I'm, my fat ass is a little disappointed. My, my diabetes is, is lot, happy, though. A lot disappointed. So we've got Shiner Candy Pecan Porter. Now, I don't this, know who Porter is. This is setting the bar kind of high. Because with the other things, I can understand them not being super sweet. But motherfucker, if it says candy... It better goddamn be sweet. If it's not, I'm coming to Shiner, Shiner Buck, whatever the fuck you call your company. I'm finding Mr. Shiner and I'm going to kick him in his balls. Okay? Square in the balls. Square in your balls. Give, this, me, give me your cup, Ranty. This better be sweet. If it's not, I'm finding your balls. Kick him. Hmm. Hmm. I can't smell things very good right now. 
but it's pretty dark. It's really dark. It smells. Kelsey's long ass fucking hairs. That's why I don't wear my hair down because I share. I, I share. You, you share? I don't share. I shed. <laughs> she sheds. I don't share. Okay. So, Shiner Candy, candy Pecan con Porter. Yep. Again, not so. Oh! That tastes like, like if you chewed on a pecan shell. There's nothing candied about this fucking pecan. Oh, oh my God, Mr. Shiner, I'm kicking you in your nuts. That is gross. Well, I don't understand why they went, I mean, if they just went with pecan porter, that would be one thing. But this shit's not candy. I mean, this tastes like raw ass pecans. I know, because I was a little dumbass kid that, I, I thought you cracked, shit out of I thought you cracked pecan shells with your mouth like you do sunflower seeds. So I was a kid running around just biting on shit. And that's what this tastes like. I just got a mental image of you just like a little fat ass kid running around. <laughs> ow! And just pick it up and like, ow! What the fuck are you talking about? Ow! I've been eating my whole life. You eating uh, like rocks and uh, shells? Yeah. That's gross. It's not. It's not That's very gross. Good. That's gross. It's. Mm. It made my mouth really dry too. Like you just bit on a whole ass pecan. Like, oh, and also, any of our northern listeners or anybody that's fucking stupid, you say, you say pecan, pecan, go fuck yourself. Fuck right off. You're, You're wrong. You're saying it wrong. It is a pecan. It's a pecan. Not a pecan. There's no such thing as pecan pie. None. No. It is pecan pie. Pecan. Pecan. Say it again. Pecan. 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 Yeah. All right. So, on to round five. Now we start... Or spicy stuff which first we're going to start with the jalapeno lime tequila tequila and then the serrano and then the habanero so we don't just completely ruin our night like right off the bat right off the bat uh, and I was really hoping that the sweet side would be sweeter sweeter because I, mean, I enjoy spicy stuff, but can you breathe? Hmm. Whoa. Ah. It's really like penetrating. So to do the the shots, I got our, <laughs> our turkey injector. In injector to get the stuff out of here so I don't just make it goddamn mess all over the place so just sitting here shooting up tequila oh yeah that's enough is that good oh yeah little explosion there okay oh okay so this is jalapeno lime infused tequila homemade by she murph incorporated yeah, yeah. and we used a uh, patron silver yes no jose cuervo silver yeah whatever yeah because it wasn't tequila. this one it was it was the other one. This is just my can I use to keep all of our, like, alcohol-related... Trinkets in. Gizmos. Okay, so we've got jalapeno-infused <coughs> tequila with... There's infusion floating in it. You can't really see it because you're in the camera way over there and on the it's internet. Not infusion. There's floaties in it is what I'm getting at. Y'all. That's only been infusing since Monday. I'm going to go and let y'all know that whenever we get to the habanero thing, it's going to fuck us up because that was hot as fuck. Oh. Oh. It, it's tasty. Don't get me wrong. That was not bad. I enjoyed that shot of tequila. but Okay. So on to number six. six. Which Serrano's, I can't remember the exact, what is it, Scoville? 
Yeah, it, they're they're hotter than they're hotter jalapenos. than jalapenos, but not as hot as habaneros. Right. So, our next one is the vodka, blood orange, and serrano pepper, which I put I put two or one and a half. I put two. Two Ooh. serranos cut in half. And I put half a blood orange, like just slices in there, and then I squeeze the other half in into these mason jars that I found at HEB. HEB mason jars. And then this is the one that's going to have the ta tajin, 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 classico seasoning around the rim. So. Pull your little spooger out of there, and then we'll give it a sniff. Mm. All right. Okay. Mm. How does that smell? That smells pretty goddamn stout. Well, it's vodka for one. No, you can't smell any vodka. You can just smell Serrano's. Oh, shit. It's got like a nice pinky hue to it. It does. It's kind of a nifty it's, color. It's aesthetically pleasing. And y'all, like, this is the first time I've, like, I've heard of blood oranges and stuff, but I've never realized that they, that they just, like, sell them places. Yeah. So when I went to H-E-B and I found actual blood oranges, I was like, are they really going to be, like, super fucking red inside? They are. They're red. So fuck. I get home and I peel it and like this orange is goddamn bleeding. It is the creepiest, coolest, like most metal goddamn fruit that has ever fruited. Yeah, because it looks like blood. Whenever the little juices come out, it looks like blood. Dude, it is so much better than a regular orange. And it's tasty as shit. Good God, it's delicious. Okay. Oh. So we've got <coughs> vodka infused with serrano peppers and, and blood, blood oranges. oranges. So... Cheers. Is this going to kill us? Maybe. Ha! That burns hard. Holy shit, we're going to be fucked when we get to the habaneros. Okay, see so you know how that liquor burns going down anyways? This is way worse. It doesn't taste bad. No. That, that one doesn't taste as good as the tequila one. No, here's the thing. I Like, honestly, the flavor of those Serrano peppers is, like, I, I know I've had Serrano, like, in cooked stuff? in things, but never enough to really be able to, like, just taste, like, just the straight flavor. And... They have a really good flavor. And honestly, it makes vodka, like, tolerable. Yeah, like, the, the liquor part's not, it's not even an issue. No, but those, the Serratos? They infused hard. Like, they came all up inside of the I, vodka. I was not, like, <clears throat> You honestly, can't taste any blood orange in it. Before, None. before we did this today, like, before we started recording today, and by the way, this is Friday, not Saturday that way, so maybe we won't be drunk whenever we upload it and edit it. Yeah, maybe we can edit it better because we won't be like just fucking stupid while we're trying to edit shit. And maybe we can meet like the deadline. Maybe. Yeah. Because we're both stupid. Yeah. We we're both bad at time. We're both procrastinators like hard to the max. We don't do good with deadlines. So we're like, maybe if we record on Friday. Yeah. We'll see. <coughs> but. If that's if we don't die after the habanero one, because the way the, the jalapeno and the serrano has gone. I didn't this think is, this shit was going to infuse. This is going to be some bull shit and a half. Because I, I was worried that even though I did this like Monday or Tuesday, that it wasn't enough time for the peppers to like infuse. Because I don't know how that shit works. It's science. I barely know words. I don't know science. My argument when it comes to science is after I say anything. She just says science. I yell science and that makes whatever I previously said fact. 
and it pisses him off, and it's super funny. Yeah. So he'll be like, Murph, you suck. And I'll be like, science! And he's like, I don't suck. I was like, too late. I said science. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, ladies so, and gentlemen. For our grand finale, we have rum infused with habanero, Thai chilies, and pureed mango. And a little bit of coconut rum. And a little bit of coconut rum. I'm going to go ahead and say, the way the last two have gone, we probably fucked up royally. You mean I fucked up royally? You fucked up. Because, like I said earlier, I did not read anything. I saw pictures and my brain went, ooh! I can do that. I can put chunks in stuff. I can put chunks in liquid. And so... As I was doing this, I was like, this probably isn't going to infuse that well because we only have a couple days. It's not going to get that hot. So why doesn't my dumbass cut two whole habaneros in half, put them in there with two Thai chilies. I could do more Thai chilies. And some, I don't know, because I didn't know what peppers to get for the last one. So I bought four peppers, but I had three jars. And I was like, I can't waste these peppers. So which one am I going to chunk these Thai chilies in? I was like, you know what? Let's just fuck us up good. Let's just ruin our whole weekend and Murph's butthole and put all the spicy in the last one. Would you like to do the sniffing honors? I'll sniff it. Oh. Oh. And I'm not, I'm not lying, guys. I was not, <laughs> I was not expecting shit to infuse the way it has. Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> this also has habanero salt around the rims. Get in there nice and deep where I can suck that devil juice right in there. <laughs> Shit, I put, should put like fucking gloves on because I'm going to touch my eyeball at some point. And there's still going to be some like Wait. habanero in there. You don't have to worry about me trying to get you to touch my wiener tonight. Just for that, I'm going to do it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, ho, ho, ho. If any of y'all come and visit us at the house, someone is required to take a shot of each one of these because we're keeping them. Dude, I'm not getting rid of these because, first of all, they look cool. Except, like, the blood oranges almost look like, I don't know if you've been to, like, somewhere close to the ocean in a gift shop where they, what the fuck? Oh, they're dissolvable labels. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, they got wet. I touched it. I was like, what is that? Okay. But like they have those, and it makes me sad every time I see them. They're the baby shark fetuses uh, in the jar, and I don't know why blood oranges in a jar of liquid reminds me of that, but it looks kind of creepy, just like chilling at the bottom. <sighs> okay, so you ready? I'm not. This is your fucking doing. Okay, don't act like you talked me out of it. You were, like, discussing peppers with me. Mm. So, this is as much your fault as it is mine. Here's to you, internet. Here's to ruining our evening. Mm. It's, it's sweet. And it burns a lot. And it's exactly what you would think from a habanero. Because a habanero is a super slow burn. Mm. It's, <clears throat> it's one of the, oh, the salt was a bad idea with that. Because the salt and the habanero do something weird together. Yeah. And habaneros are one of those peppers that, and I know this, because when I was like 18, I was really fucking stupid. 
and I had a habanero eating contest. It's fucking stupid. With a group of Hispanic grown men who eat hot things for a living. I won the contest, but my mouth hurt for like <clears throat> two days because habaneros are a heat that like it stays with you. They stay. They don't go away like fairly quickly, like jalapenos, even the serranos, like it was spicy for a few minutes, but then it, it, it like went away. I feel like I could breathe fire. Yeah. Because the thing is, like the way I took the shot, I didn't hold it in my mouth very long. But everything down from the mouth is burning and I'm starting to sweat. Um, I'm not sweating. It was hot. My teeth burn. She's got good burning teeth. Should your teeth burn? Probably not, no. Maybe it's my gums, but it feels like it's my teeth. All things considered, it didn't taste that bad. No, it didn't taste bad. Like, the, the, man, the mango puree did really well with the sweet, because it did, it was sweet. It was sweet, and it was fire. It was sweet fire. Sweet, sweet fire. But honestly, this could have gone worse. I did a pretty goddamn good job with my science experiments. Yeah. Because, I mean, that's what they are. None of those were disgusting. Um, no, they were They were all... They tasted good. Good. Um, Should have paired the Serranos with something different. Yeah. The the Serranos, they really overpowered the blood orange. And they're like, they're like a really earthy taste. And I don't know. There might not be anything good to pair them with because they may just be... They may overpower everything. And maybe I put one too many in there. Yeah. Because I, I put two. One, two, three. Yeah, I put two in there. Maybe I should have put one. Or Ooh. maybe I should have put like more like orange juice in there, but And the Thai chilies were completely fucking worthless in that one. You can't taste anything but habanero and mango. You can barely taste me. The fuck was that? Okay, ghost drinks. So, yeah. Yeah. This has been episode three of Drinking Time with the Murphs. You mean drinking review? What the fuck ever? What is, Bye. Our, what is our show called? Bye. Bye.